In this tutorial, I want to be showing you how to create this cool modern UI in Illustrator CC. So originally we created a juice brand, as you can see here, with the logo and I'm just going to show the logo over here. So we created these logos originally with my friend Camp Keyframe. You can check out his YouTube channel here. He's actually going to animate these um, designs in the UI and in After Effects. So he's going to upload the video here so you can check out his channel and subscribe to check that out. So you can see here I've done some screens. Done about page, a little shop, you know, selling the juice, got some information um, online and just put some like prices and stars and just kept it really simple, really basic and using color to really create this cool effect. So you can, you can see some of the screens in the iPhone, iPhone size. So what I'm going to do is you want to press shift O for the artboard tool. You want to just drag out any box. Then if you go to the top left, you'll see a drop down menu next to the artboard. So if you click down that, you can click on a phone that you want to work with. So it could be Google Pixel, Surface, whatever, or you can put your own custom sizing in if you want. I'm just going to do iPhone X, which is going to make a flat screen here. So what we can do is we can start off with the page where it's going to have um, the image and some of the menu options here. So I'm just going to drag this logo. Um, let me grab it from here. And I'm just going to start to build this out. So typically the logo will be on the left here. I'm also going to create a menu. So what I can actually do is I can drag out a square like this. Make it a little bit thinner. I can hold Alt and Shift to duplicate that. And all your basic tools are on the left here. So you can see all the basic tools. So I can create a box. The shortcut tool is M. I can create circles with L with the ellipse tool there. So I'm just going to start off with this. As you can see here, might make it a little bit more wider there. Sweet, so that looks better. And then I'm just going to grab the images. So I'll bring this image here. This image I got off Unsplash, so you can find some nice orange images. I'm going to make a clipping mask, so I'll press M, I'll drag a box, then hold shift, select this, go object, clipping mask make. And that should lock that in. I'm also going to add a darker box on top just to make it a little bit darker. So I'll make it black, change the blending mode to multiply, and then I'll decrease the opacity to like 50%. So that's looking good. And then I can, you know, drag it down a bit. I can adjust the clipping mask so to bring it up. So, just like that. And I can adjust the boxes here, which is really cool. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna add a box, start to add the menu. So, when people like land on it, they can select different parts. So, I'm just gonna add a box here. And then I'm gonna just change the color. I'll just make it a gray for now. And I'll make another box, another one like this. And then I could add a stroke on it. So you can add like a light stroke. Just make it go for now, just to break up those boxes. And then I'm going to press T for the type tool. And I'll, I'll left click. I'll just type home. So for the home page. I use the font Am Amphibia for this. Uh, just got to find it. Here we go. It's really a nice font. It's um, also got a bit of roundedness to it, so it's sort of friendly. And I just like how it's got so many different styles here. So you can see, look, it's got expanded versions, um, bolder versions, and um, yeah, it's really good. So I'm just gonna pick one of the regular ones. Um, I wanna make it bolder, so I'll go and bold. So I'll drag this out. And I'm just gonna add some guides. So if you press Control R, you can actually bring up your rulers. So I'm just gonna, Create a guide here for the center. One here. And then I can select the guides and then I can align it to the artboard. So I can see where the center is and then and just like that. Just so it like helps me out. I also have my layers panel here as well. So you can see a lot of my layers are saved there, but we'll just do everything in one layer for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this text. Then I'll start to 
the words and I can select everything so you can see how it's not aligned how I want it so I'll hold shift and I'll select everything go to the top right corner and you want to change the alignment by this drop down menu to align to selection and then click this middle distribution icon and it should distribute it in the center there so now that's really nice and you can see we're getting there similar to this one obviously I'm gonna make these a bit smaller because it's just taking up too much space and obviously if you create like a UI for an older audience maybe old people um, maybe they can't see on small screens as much you want to keep that in mind when you're designing then I'm just gonna make like a hover state so I'm just gonna the box I'm just gonna color that box there just like that so if they hover if they click or hover on it then the box will go orange so so far so good and I'm just gonna change these grays it's to to white now so now we've got all these texty and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna du duplicate this screen So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on this screen here. I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm just going to copy the text here. So you can see the text that I've done here, you can see it's Amphibia and it's set to bold. And then to get this text looking like this really nice, it's all set to regular. And then I've bumped up the actual um, spacing of the size. So typically you drag out a box like this and it adds a placeholder. And then if you hold older option, you can add some spacing between the, the, the lines. And then typically what I do, I, I make it thinner. So I'll go for like a regular or a book and then I'd make it smaller. And then I'll add a nice color. So you can see here, whatever my main like color is. So you can see I'm using like this purpley black color. I'll pretty much use that color and use a lighter version of it. So I can also click on this one and I can, you know, make it lighter. You don't want to make it like too colorful. So, or you don't, don't want to make it black because that's just too harsh on the eyes. It's actually better if you add like a little bit of a tint of that purple, just so it's a lot nicer. So you can see here, two examples of that um, font. If I go to regular, get smaller, you can see it makes the text really clean. So that's how I created this text. Then this is just the header there. Just gonna bring this back. My character. You can open your character window by going to window type and you go to paragraph and character. And you should get these two boxes which will have full control over the text. Cool. So for the juice bottle. I'm just going to make a box and then what I'll do, I'll round the corners off. So if you select it, you can see there's a corner radius button here so I can change the corners here, right? And if I bump this up, you can see it's going to round it. So remember the top right, select the object, top right, you'll see the corner button here and you can see you can type in an amount, I can do 150, I don't know why I duplicated there, I can do 150. So I can do type in 150 to get that box there or I can you know make it a little bit less maybe 70 and then I'm gonna align it like this I can also you know bring in a guard as well to help me out center in there I can also turn off the guides too so I'm gonna make this orange so I'll go to my swatches and I'll make it the orange brand color like this Now I'm going to make a box. I'm going to make a white box and I'll make it red just so you guys can see. So I'll select these two shapes. I'll press Shift M for the shape little tool and I'll cut this off. So you can see I've made this bar and I can make it white. So I can select the drop shadow uh, eyedropper tool, select the white, and now I've got this box here. So in order to make this box stand out, I'm going to click on the orange box. I'll go to my appearance panel, click the FX button, go to stylize and drop shadow. And now you'll get this drop shadow box. So I'm going to decrease this to about five, maybe make the blur, blur four, decrease the opacity. 
like this maybe like 25 percent maybe i can increase the blur actually i'm gonna keep it straight and press ok so now i've got this box so the white doesn't look like it's floating in the sky right and then i'm gonna duplicate my text here so i can reuse my text all the time and i'm just gonna place it in the middle i always send everything and then i make it smaller so i always make sure that there's a there's enough space white space for the text so it's readable type in orange juice then i'll type in the dollar amount i have to make this text box if it's a text box you have to make it bigger seven dollars and then i can press t and just select this text and make it orange or you can make it red or whatever whatever color you want right so i'll make it orange and i'm just going to center this out like this and that is looking really cool zoom out so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the juice bottle that i created i'm going to drag it in it's just a png so you can see it's just a png that i made in photoshop and i'm just going to drag it in here like this so now we have that bottle there which is really cool another thing we can do is add a drop shadow to this so i can go to my appearance panel again click fx click stylize drop shadow and once again, you can see that drop shadow there, but I'll make the drop shadow orange. So if you click on color swatches here on this button on the right, I'll locate my orange color and press OK. And then now if I bump this up, you'll see the orange color at the back there. But I want to make the offset a little bit lower so it's not directly. I'm going to make the blur like 4, decrease it. So you can see this drop shadow there. It just makes it pop on the back there a little bit more. I'm going to bring this back. Like that and then what I do is I can duplicate this like that and then I can go to my swatches panel select the purple color and I'll drag in my other flavor like this and I can group it together by pressing Control G and I can just make a clipping mask just to clean it up. So now if someone scrolls, they'll continue to see all the um, different colors. So if we kept if we kept like going the and I put these ones here, you know, that's how it will look like. So that's if you want to put it in the box. If you don't want to put it in the box, you can actually delete that. And you can just do it like this as well. That's another way of doing it. But if you like this card type of um, ID, you can do that. So I'm just going to bring this text up as well. Duplicate this, type in featured juices. Make it smaller. It's all about hierarchy, so you can clearly see the name text and then anything else I'm just gonna make it a little bit wider there so it's all about hierarchy future juices I think that's really cool so I'm just gonna duplicate this again so I'll duplicate this artboard and what I can do I can start to create out one of these ones now so for the icon, you can pretty much get them online. So I have a heart, but first I'm going to create orange. So if someone clicks on this, it's going to lead to this page. So let me just change the color. Oh. So this orange is going to go to here, right? I'm just going to duplicate this. Once again, I'm going to duplicate the text here. I'm going to align it. I want to make sure that the space is consistent. So you can see I can drag a box. So I can see the text on the edges here. And obviously I can drop a guide as well. So you know, I can put a guide here. I'll turn my guides on. So I'm always aligning the same as well. 
So that's a cool trick I use. I, I can do a box, drag the box like this. Then I can add a guide. Make sure it's aligned. And then I can drag from the left rulers and have a guide there. So just keep everything neat and tidy. So I can go orange juice again. I can just copy it from here. So you always want to just copy and paste. Um, especially if you're just doing quick mockups or quick designs, then that's really good. I'll copy this text that I've already got online. And for the stars, I'm going to click the star tool. And I'm going to drag it out like this. I'm going to make it orange. And I'm going to round it off a little bit. So I'm going to select it. And what I want to do is I want to get the rounded tool up. So you press the direct selection tool and top corner, I can get rounded. So I'll type in maybe 10, it's a bit too much. So I'll go maybe five, just so it softens the edges. So you can see it softens it up, really cool. And then what I'm gonna do is duplicate it. So select it, hold Alt and Shift and duplicate it and then press Control D. This will duplicate it by five like that, All right? So now we have that, which is a cool review. And then I'm going to type 35 reviews for social proof. I'll press I for the eyedropper tool and I can just select this text that I've already made here. I don't want this to be big cap, so I'll make it smaller. And then we've got free shipping here. And you can see you can really make this simple icon. So you can get it off online on flat icon, but I can make a box like this. I can make two square circles. that bring this in press P for the pen tool make sure you select the shape press P and I can do it like this and then I'll make a white box using the selection tools remember press V for the selection and a for the direct selection so if you want to grab the anchor points right but V is if I want to select the object as a whole so you can see here, I'm going to bring this down a bit. And we've literally just created a cool little shipping icon. I'll group that together. And that's pretty much how I'll do it, right? And you want to put free shipping available. Just want to make sure that this color is the same. So this one has 80% opacity, so... <coughs> 80%. And I'm going to just quickly align that, sticking to the guides there. And then we're going to make this buy button. So I'm going to drag a box, select the red there. I'm going to just duplicate this buy juice, make it, uh, actually, I'm going to bring this and click buy juice. Once again, I had to adjust the sizing there. So I pretty much downloaded a shopping cart icon from, on, from online as well. I'm just gonna bring this up like this and I'm gonna center it. And to create this little number here, you can create a circle and then just type one Make it smaller. I like having it a little bit bold. And like this. So you get this like little circle, this little bubble. So when someone clicks on the cart, it's gonna show them, okay, they have one. They have bought one in, and it's in the cart there. So I'm just gonna center it by eye. Obviously, it's just the concept. And then what I want to do is I'm going to make a box here. So if they want to go to the next juice, they can slide left. So I'll change the color here. And I'm going to use select this. And I'm going to use my dynamic corners from Astute Graphics. And I'm going to round that off like that. Really easy. And then I'm going to create an arrow. So 
typically create an arrow like this. And then I'm gonna just flip it. And then delete. So I've got this line and this, and then I just group it together. Obviously there's other, other ways to make an arrow, but I'm just being quick here. And just make it a bit thicker with the stroke, the top left corner. So now if they slide their thumb left, it's gonna go to the next page, which will pretty much be the grape juice. So all I have to do is just duplicate this whole artboard. So holding shift, make sure nothing is locked. So you can go object, click unlock all. I will duplicate this and then pretty much I'll start to do the same thing and add my grape juice. That's why it's good to have a system so then it's just consistent. And then I'm using the eyedropper tool and selecting from the other one. Grape juice and if I want to change the color, I think I made this on purple. And I can leave all that the same. And that's how we would create that. And I can do the same for the other ones as well. The kiwi and the um, raspberry juice. So very easily you can create a lot of like different screens. All right. So if someone wants to pick a different uh, juice. Raspberry. I like this really pink color. It's really cool. Vibrant. Anything neon is just always looks cool. And then just um, change the colors so whatever is before it. Like that. So they can swipe. Or I could just make it like all white if I wanted to, right? Or, or purple. Just depends what you want to do. And keeping the buy button the same. Obviously, I can take the number off if, they, if there's nothing in the cart. But once again, this is just a UI concept. And overall, that's how we do it. And if you want to make it look nice like this, you can just create a background. Right? I can make a cream background or a white background. Then I can group, select everything and just like group it together. For example, I'll like duplicate these things. Let me just snap that back in. Then I can do this. And obviously, I want to make a white box. And I'm going to bring it to the back there. So maybe you want to show it to a client or you want to present it a little nicer. And then I can add a drop shadow to these boxes like I showed you before. I think the orange is fine. So you can see that it's got a little shadow. And then you can like present it and then you can put like notes and um and stuff like that. And then this page is pretty much same thing. Got a shadow here. And then add the little slide and then add the shape there about us and just the text there. Really simple. And obviously we can select the little hamburger menu and I can duplicate it as well on all of them. So it's just there in case they want to see the menu back. And I think on the original one I did I did white. So because it's on because it's on a color, so it just might be easier to use. But that's how we create a juice UI. Thanks guys for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial or not. Remember to check out Camp Keyframes video. He'll be uploading that as well. And he's gonna show you how to animate this these slides in After Effects. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment for more design content every week. And I hope you have an amazing day.